variation, Jeff's just going to put his arms out at random, one arm, one arm, and that's going to be an indicator for uh, cause it to spin in the opposite direction. Very good. Now, for those of you who may not have a training partner, you can use, a, a, you know, one of those giant uh, orthopedic balls or, or maybe a basketball or something. But the key here is you don't want to fall off. If I were to do my spin drills on Costa, some, one of the problems that I have, so I see sometimes is that people will slide too far down. So when they get here, they're already off. You can't have that. You have to work for balance. Your spin has to be almost effortless. Sometimes you'll even spin with your arms behind your back, but we don't need to do that. You, you need to keep your hands alive just in case Costa will try to do some sort of sit outs or whatever. But just make sure you're always looking at, at the right point content. You know, and, my, and my feet have to be, you know, I don't want this stuff. I don't want any of that or crossing over or anything. I just want spins. You know, and I'm always trying to keep my pressure on him as evenly and as centered as I possibly can. And basically that's just your spin drill.